think Sarab is just a part of, um, of the entire puzzle. And so Sarab is definitely um, an important part, uh, taking part in this puzzle. Um, but at the end of the day, um, yeah, things are coming, I wouldn't say they're coming back to normal, but they're, um, everything's performing in a more normal way. So um, again, the famous nine months that we talked about. So nine months ago, I wouldn't say that there, were, there was any kind of financing available at all. And now after the summer, suddenly, you know, banks that you wouldn't have imagined, tiny small banks with a small balance sheet out of Germany, they suddenly start to, uh, to present to their boards new product approvals about this country, about Spain. And uh, they're really uh, considering of getting back into, into the game in Spain with core. You know, everybody now is chasing after core and high margins. That's the name of the game right now, but it's all coming back. So there's other banks um, amongst our peers that uh, have a high budget allocated and they really take it seriously and they really want to do you know serious business in, in terms of debt again this year and uh, a number of small banks so and that's a volume in total that definitely we haven't seen over the past like, many years i mean we've been out of the game for the past two years and ever since this market has been in terms of debt totally dried up and now spanish banks they're like crazy and i mean recently uh there was the shopping center sold I mean, it's not even Spanish ground per se because it's Africa, but still, there was a Spanish bank who said, you know what, um, you've got uh, your leverage you need and um, at, a, at a price that I wouldn't have, you know, <laughs> I wouldn't have given, but even prices are coming down already. So that's a sign that things are getting back to normal. Yes, prices are still ho uh, high, but they're not as high as they even were uh, like six months ago. So that's the, the, the pure sign that everything effectively is falling back into place. I mean, I do think that Syrup was one of the pieces of the puzzle that suddenly made sense. Um, I think Sarab was is a very Spanish story. I, it didn't exist 14 months ago. And it was created from one day to the next very quickly. They hired people from one day to the next very quickly. They carried a you know, reasonable due diligence very quickly. And they've sold, at least they have announced they've sold 3.8 billion euros of real estate on the first year of existence. I mean, Sarab had about 20 employees in March. And in December, 10 months later, they had sold 3.8 billion euros. And I think it did actually also wake up a little bit some of the banks. Of course, the banks have been held, helped by the regulations saying you can write off X, Y, and Z. So the balances were starting to clean up. And then suddenly they have a competitor who is selling real estate quickly. So with the balance sheets, they have to say, wait a minute, I can't keep all this real estate forever because my, co my competitor, Sareb, as a real estate vendor, is selling effectively every day. So it was a combination, but I do think Sarab was somehow a trigger.